Welcome to this secret spot in my neighborhood. My roommate Andrew found it and it's like a hidden oasis in the city. It's only a couple minutes from my house and I come here when I want to be away from everything but I don't have time to drive super far away. It's got a really cool little trail running through it and a creek. If you want to see the whole thing, check out my gorilla mountain biking video and you can ride through it with me. Today I wanted to tell you the story of how I became an outdoor instructor. It was never something that was on my radar and it definitely wasn't on the list of jobs and careers that they hand you when you're 15. I guess this story starts like so many others in childhood. Like so many other kids, I was obsessed with animals and loved to be outside. I wanted to spend as much time as possible outside. I knew deep down that the way modern humans live is not the way we're supposed to be living. I wanted to live closer to nature. If you'd asked me when I was 10 what I wanted when I grew up, I would have told you that I wanted to live off the land, in the wilderness, in a cabin with no electricity. And as far as a job goes, I think I would have said something in biology, marine biology maybe. As a teenager, I looked around and I saw this arbitrary construct that humans had made for ourselves. We'd put ourselves in cages. I recognized that living the way I wanted to was impossible. I would either need a tremendous amount of money to buy a huge piece of land, big enough to sustain myself, or I would constantly be on the run from the law, living illegally in wilderness areas. Plus, I started to realize that it's basically impossible to live off the land by yourself. You need a team of people. And I just felt like I would never be able to find <laughs> someone I could convince to live without modern amenities with me. For me, so many consequences in civilization were completely arbitrary. And out in nature, they were real. If I jumped off a cliff, I would probably die. If I left my food out and I didn't hang a bear bag when I went backpacking, a bear would eat my food. If I didn't tie up my kayak at night, the high tide would probably float it away. But in civilization, we have all these arbitrary consequences. If I don't work enough hours a month and I, because I get sick, I can't pay my rent. And then I get kicked out of my home because another human decided to make that rule and then decided to enforce it. Everything was completely arbitrary to me and not based in reality. I wanted to live in reality, close to the land, close to what was real. I wanted to escape the construct, but I didn't know how. And at this point, I felt like it was impossible. Civilization was so far reaching, it covered every corner of the globe. There was no way to escape. And my teenage angst was based more in the fact that I knew I would never be able to live how I wanted. I would have to figure out the closest thing I could to the lifestyle I wanted. At 16 in high school, they tell you that you have to decide what you want to do for the rest of your life. It's time to pick a career. My parents told me that I could do whatever I wanted to as long as I got a college education. They just wanted me to be happy. So many adults I knew only got two weeks off or maybe three a year. To me, that was tragic. But my mom, who was a teacher, got almost three months off the whole summer. I didn't realize at that time that I could pick a career that would give me something close to the lifestyle I wanted. Instead, I was hyper-focused on freedom. I was hyper-focused on having as much time to myself as I could get. So I decided that being a teacher would give me the biggest chunk of freedom I could get a year. I started school as a music education major, thinking I could suck it up and deal with being in the classroom for most of the year for that sweet three months of freedom. But once I got to school, I spent more time riding horses and rock climbing than practicing and studying. The summer after my freshman year, I got a job through the equestrian team teaching horseback riding at a summer camp in the mountains. I didn't understand how life-changing that camp was gonna be. I thought I would just be teaching horseback riding all summer. But when I got there, I learned that this camp was an outdoor education camp. And what they did was experiential education. They used experiential learning methods. This was a methodology I'd never been exposed to before, but deep down inherently knew how it worked and that it worked. It's how I myself learned. So it came very naturally to me. I was delighted that I was using horseback riding as a tool to help my students become more empathetic, patient, tenacious humans. We could use other group activities in the outdoors, 
to build group dynamics and cohesion. I realized that overcoming challenges in the outdoors was transformational and that I could have the opportunity to help facilitate that in others. As far as my coworkers go, I was basically dumped into an instant tight-knit community full of people who saw the world in a similar way I did and had the same kind of passions as me. Many of my coworkers were either not in college or had already finished, and they were working year round as outdoor educators and guides. This was something I didn't even know existed, but all of a sudden this new world opened up for me where I could live outside every day doing something really rewarding, surrounded by people whose values aligned with mine. While my friends working as outdoor educators year round still had bills to pay, still used electricity and still drove cars, they got to be outside every day doing something really, really awesome that was meaningful for them. Suddenly I had discovered that I could live the lifestyle I wanted and still make money. I didn't have to escape the construct. I could live on the edge of it. I did make it through college. I changed my major to parks and rec management and my concentration was outdoor recreation. That first summer was in 2005 and I've spent just about every year since as either an outdoor educator or adventure guide. Do you hear the owl?